Although Africa is not generally known for its abundance of skyscrapers, it has undergone a building surge in many cities. The number of tall buildings has been seen growing significantly throughout the continent over the last few decades. Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another fun and exciting video by Mega Projects and Skyscrapers. Before I take you to the tallest skyscraper of Africa, make sure you are subscribed to our channel to get your dosage of incredible videos. Also, you can hit the bell icon to get notified about the new videos that we upload on our channel. So, let's have a look at Africa's tallest buildings. Number 10. MetLife Center, South Africa The MetLife Center is a 28-floor, 120-meter-tall modernist skyscraper situated opposite the Cape Town International Convention Center in the City Bowl area of Cape Town, South Africa. The center tower has a 22-tall spired antenna on the building's roof lifted into place by a helicopter just before for its completion in 1993. Currently, the MetLife Center is in the process of being turned into a residential building and will be renamed the Sky Hotel. Renovation began at the start of 2020. The building is made of five different volumes, put one on top of another with a progressively decreasing width on one side, giving the structure a typical staircase shape. Number 9. Marble Tower, South Africa Located in Joburg Central Business District at 499 feet, the Marble Towers is a skyscraper built in 1973 and is 32 stories tall. The building structure comprises a mixture of concrete and marble and has an eight-story parking garage attached to it. The tower is in use as a commercial office. Marble Towers is the eighth tallest building in Africa by pinnacle height at 152 meters. The tower is in use as a commercial office. The building was originally known as the Sanlam Center. It is located on the corner of Yepe and Wonvilaha streets. Number 8. Pearl Dawn, South Africa Pearl Dawn is located in Durban, South Africa. It was opened in 2010 and ties with marble towers at 152 meters with 31 floors. The residential building was marked as a lush option for South African residents with a futurist architectural style with a dark blue facade color. The Pearl is a spectacular residential resort offering luxury apartments and penthouses. Construction of the Tides and Dawn was successfully carried out and recognized as one of Durban's most prestigious holiday apartments, attracting influential clients and holiday makers. Number 7. South African Reserve Bank Building South African Reserve Bank Building was built by Berg, Doherty, Bryant, and Partners. The South African African Reserve Bank building and is situated at number 370 Stanza Bobape Street, which was previously known as Church Street in the nation's capital. The building is the tallest in Pretoria and the first flush glazed glass tower block in the southern hemisphere. It was completed in 1988 together with a specialist from the USA and input from PG Glass Company in South Africa. Architects designed the curtain walls. The building also has stainless steel, non-representational sculpture untitled by Johan van Heerden, which was specially commissioned to complement it. Number 6. PSPF Tower, Tanzania Located in the East African region, Tanzania is the Tower A and B PSPF Twin Towers, standing at 153 meters tall with 35 floors. The buildings which have a postmodern style began their construction in 2011 and completed in 2014. The towers were officially opened for business in 2015. This building and construction proposal was a winning design in a competition for the design of a mixed urban development in the heart of Dar es Salaam city. They were built using concrete glass and steel by Hatmi Engineering. Each floor has been designed to accommodate shopping facilities, residential apartments, luxury hotels, cinema halls, and office spaces for rental. It has offices, retail stores, and a parking garage. Number 5. Nekom House, Nigeria Nigerian External Communication House, also known as the Netcom House, is a skyscraper located in Lagos by a Ghanaian architectural company, Nixon Boris, partners and built by the British company, Costain Group, famous builders of the Dolphin Square apartment. 
apartments in London and the Dubai International Airport, Nekom House, is a 32-story building that houses the headquarters of NITIL, which is at the top of the tower and serves as a lighthouse beacon for Lagos Harbor. The building was completed in 1979. The communication spire at the top of the tower serves as a lighthouse beacon for Lagos Harbor. The building is constructed of concrete. The building was the tallest in West Africa at the time of completion. It is 160 meters high. Number 4. UAP Tower, Kenya UAP Old Mutual Tower is a 33-story office complex in the Upper Hill neighborhood of Nairobi, Kenya. Owned by UAP Old Mutual Group, a financial service conglomerate headquartered in Kenya with subsidiaries in six African countries, the tower which is also the second tallest building in Nairobi at 163 meters finance through private equity totals $40 million as of 2015. It has rentable space that measures 29,000 square meters and will also house the UAP Old Mutual Group headquarters once it is finished. It became the tallest structure in Kenya upon its completion in 2015, surpassing Times Tower, which had held that record for 15 years. Number 3. Ponte City Apartment, South Africa Ponte City is a skyscraper in the Berea neighborhood just next to the Hillbrow, Johannesburg, South Africa. It was built in 1975 to a height of 173 meters, making it the third tallest residential skyscraper in Africa. The 55-story building is cylindrical, has an open center dubbed the core, allowing additional lights into the apartments and rises above an uneven rock floor. Manny Fellman designed Ponte City, who worked closely in a team together with Rodney Grosskopf and Manfred Hermer. It is also the first cylindrical skyscraper in Africa. Grosskopf designed the building in such a way that it allowed light to enter the apartments from both sides through a hollow interior. The bottom entails retail stores with initial plans of including an indoor ski slope on the 3,000 square meter inner core floor. Number 2. Britam Tower, Kenya Britam Tower was built as a commercial tower and is owned by the British American Investments Company. The skyscraper has a maximum height of 195 meters above ground with 32 usable floors. It is the second tallest building in Africa by pinnacle height at 200 meters. The building is the international headquarters of Britam. It features a unique colorful shape that starts as an equal four-sided square footprint and ends with a two-sided roof with a 60 meters mast containing three helical wind turbines. Britam Tower has a total of 350,000 square feet of office space to let for commercial purposes. The building has an attached 12-story car park that can accommodate up to 1,000 vehicles which cater to its many tenants. Number 1. Carlton Center, South Africa The Carlton Center, located downtown in Johannesburg, South Africa, ranks the tallest building in Africa since 1973 at 223 meters with 50 floors. The skyscraper was designed by the U.S. architectural firm Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. Construction began in 1960 by demolishing the old Carlton Hotel and closing roads to form a city superblock and officially completed in 1974. However, the occupation of the center began in 1971. The tower's design matches that of New York's one Seneca Tower in Buffalo, which was completed in 1973. At 223 meters, it is the tallest building in Africa and the tallest office building. The foundations of the two buildings in the complex are 5 meters in diameter and extend 15 meters down to the bedrock, 35 meters below street level. The building houses both offices and shops and has over 46% of the floor area below ground level. For the last four decades, the Carlton Center in South Africa held the pole position as Africa's tallest building despite not being featured even amongst the top 100 skyscrapers in the world. This, however, will soon change following recent projects currently underway set to take away the title of buildings in Africa. In Morocco, the Bank of Africa Tower is an example of such a building that will set the pace in being among the tallest buildings in Africa. That is all for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed watching it and if you did, make sure you let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel Mega Projects and Skyscrapers if you have not done it yet to watch the best videos about incredible structures around the world. Stay subscribed and stay tuned for more.